Hey guys, thank you for being here. Welcome to the channel. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. And tonight's topic is going to be the narcissistic relationship. Did you give it your all? Yep, I think that's a great one. And I think this should be a very popular video just based on that topic. Again, these are for educational purposes only. If you like it, great. If you don't, I understand. So anyway, before we jump into it, remember, like, subscribe, share, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Here we go. The narcissistic relationship, did you give it your all? This one is very simple for everybody who's watching the channel and for everybody who's watching this video, no matter where you are in the world. You, I am certain, because you're on this channel, you gave it your all. And what does that entail? That means that from the minute you met the narcissist, and of course you did not know they were a narcissist, you thought they were a healthy individual like you are. So what did you do? You contributed every way possible to nurture and grow the relationship, to build a future together, to have common goals, to nurture and grow and develop as human beings, and to see where the possibilities would take you. Maybe it would take you to a family, maybe, maybe it would take you to a bright future, anything, that was your idea. So I know you did. And if you really reflect on all that you gave to the relationship, I am willing to guess that each and every day of your relationship, you gave more and more. Think about that. Probably in the very beginning of the relationship when you were smitten and the love bomb, ha bomb happened and you were just like, oh my gosh, you're over the moon with this person. You can't believe that they exist and it's, everything's going great. You were on cloud nine and that's when they sunk their fangs into you. But the point is, when this happened, this is a very instrumental part of the relationship, the love bomb, because when it happened, you were like, oh my God, I'm giving and I want to keep giving because why? Because you're getting and you're receiving so much. You're being smothered with adoration, texts, phone calls, um, everything, attention, um, maybe presence, who knows, maybe presence physical, meaning like they're with you all the time and presents like uh, maybe they bought you gifts. It could, be, it could be all these things. But when this happened, you, you reciprocated and you said, this is amazing. Oh my God, I cannot believe somebody on this planet actually exists and this is great. After that, what you did is you continued to give and you gave and gave. And why did you do that? Because you wanted the love bomb stage back. Of course, you did not know that you had just went through the love bomb, but you wanted to catch that feeling again, your, the euphoria, the magic carpet ride that lasted for weeks or months. You, you know you could do it, so you kept giving. And you found yourself giving and giving and nonstop in every capacity way possible. Then the deval happened. All during this time, again, you're thinking you can, you can correct things and fix them and, and you want to give. That's the beauty of you. You're a beautiful empath and you, you know that you have so much to offer. And to maintain the relationship, and to keep things moving forward, you did, you, you did adhere to so many things that you would not have normally done. Why? Because you're giving. Examples would be, um, like we say in the channel, you know, maybe you're, you're thinking about going to a certain restaurant and you wanted to go, and the narcissist at the time, they wanted to go somewhere else. So you would just give in to them, thinking it's okay, it's only one restaurant. But this happened over and over again, and it continued to happen. Same thing with finances. Maybe you, maybe you were spending money in, in a normal fashion before you met them, it escalated, and now, you know, to keep them happy, maybe you did have to go to a fancy restaurant, or maybe you did have to go to, on that vacation that was out of your budget, and things like that, but you were giving. Then there's the emotional side. Were you there for them when they asked you to be there? I know you were. I know for a fact, at the drop of a hat, you would be wherever they wanted you to be because you know that you wanted to comfort them. And you know when you did comfort them that it was good, you were doing the right thing, you're an empath, and you have the ability to absorb people's feelings and emotions and make them feel better. I have the exact same skill set. It's, it's a beautiful feeling, to, um, beautiful characteristic to have. Not many people have it, but we have it. So that's what you did. And the same thing with cleaning the house, picking up the kids, paying bills, going to events and things that maybe you didn't really want to do, but you did it because you gave. So getting back on track, did you give in the narcissistic relationship? Yes, you did. And you found yourself giving more and more every single day. Eventually, you found out that, that the limit of giving, there was no end to it. And you were receiving 
the bare minimum, if anything at all. And what you discovered at this point is, wow, this is really not fair. Not only is it not fair, but I'm being treated like I do all these things for the narcissist. I, I do everything, like hypothetically. I clean, I cook, I fill the gas tank, I go pay bills, I um, pick them up, I drop them off, I go to the cleaners, all these things that you do. And you're still being treated poorly and you can't figure it out. So you try, and how do you try? And you talk with them. You pull them aside or you talk to them in a, a, a location, just the two of you, a private conversation, the two of you, and you say, hey, you know, I think it'll be better if we just sit down and discuss the situation because I personally feel like I'm giving so much and I'm not really receiving much. Can you help me out here? Can you, you know, ad address this? It's a very big topic to me. You probably said things like that. I know I did. And the narcissist w does whatever they normally would do, which is probably, probably be on their cell phone, definitely not pay attention to you, nod their head like, yes, can we move on now? I really have something to do. And just not give your conversation any, any um, recognition whatsoever. And you tried this numerous times. You tried, you gave, you contributed. And you know what? You found yourself trying so hard. And you would look at the narcissist's face and you would look at the way they're reacting to your, your claims and your emotions and feelings and needs, your human decency needs. And you would just look at them and they would look at you like, honestly, like with a blank stare on their face, like, so what do you want me to do about this? Like, I'm not gonna change. Take it or leave it. Or if that's just the way I am. Or a famous one that I heard numerous times is, I'm from, insert the country, that's the way we are. I heard so many excuses like that, I, I, could, go, I could write a novel on it. But the point is, these things add up over time for you because you find yourself giving and giving and giving. And you're noticing now, this is the devaluation stage, you're noticing now that the other person is not only are they not giving, but they're contributing less in every capacity, and they're probably not even around as much as they used to be. What does that mean now, guys? Boom, it means they're getting supply from another source. Again, this, this is my experience, and I'm just sharing it with you to see if it resonates with you, and if it does, drop comments. But they're getting supply from another source. And during the, de the deval stage, I had no idea. I thought they were working late. I thought that they were going to the store and buying food. I thought they were doing what normal, healthy individuals do. Turns out, no. Getting supply is what they were doing. And I'm not gonna go into those details. However, you found yourself at a crossroads now. And you said to yourself, wow, what am I going to do? Am I gonna continue living my life like this, subservient to the narcissist? Remember, at the time, you don't know it's a narcissist. You just know you're in the relationship with somebody. And you say to yourself, what should I do? Should I continue like this? And, and it gets worse every day? It literally gets worse every day? Or do I eventually say, you know what? I can't do this any longer. I deserve so much better. And I've given, and I'm exhausted, and I'm tired, and I'm drained, and nothing ever makes the, you happy. So I don't know what to do for you. Meaning, I could, I could earn a million dollars tomorrow, it still won't be enough. You're gonna want $10 million. I could do, you know, I could invent the next fastest car on the planet, like a Tesla or something, I don't know cars, but anyway, it still won't be good enough because someone else could do something better. That's how I found myself, and I believe that you did too, that you found yourself, the bar was always being raised, the boundaries were always being crossed, and you, nothing was ever good enough. You could never please the narcissist. So did you give? You did. Did you give almost every single inch of, or of uh, amount of energy you had? You did. Now we're at the, the discard stage. When the discard happened, we know. And as I mentioned in the previous video, when this happened, you were a shell of yourself, you were isolated, you were left alone. You were literally left for dead. Sorry to be graphic, but I know you were, because I was. And you found yourself having been drained of so much of your energy, emotions, physical being, mental, your spirit, your soul, your, your inner being, your drained, you don't know what to do. Little did you know the whole time this was the narcissist plan because you see two things happen there. One, when you stood up for yourself, meaning you said, yeah, I, I don't want to take this any longer, that crossed the boundary with the narcissist and they said, that's it. It's like, it's like you're cooking food in the kitchen and the timer goes off, ding! You know the soup's ready, the food's ready, right? It's the same thing. When you stand up for yourself with a narcissist and say, no, I'm not doing this any longer, it's not, it doesn't fit for me, it's not appropriate, I can't, it's not a two-way street, that's when they're like, ding, time's up.
time to go find a new supply or to groom to get one of the many supplies that have been supplies that have been grooming behind your back the whole relationship guys play it again it's true so now you found yourself giving you gave and you're you're you gave and, and the the discard happens and you're just you know like i mentioned on so many videos you're a shell of yourself and you know what you know what went on i'm not going to get into details i don't need to be graphic um but then months later or when you're you're healing you're on the healing path and i'm not saying you're healed but you're on the healing path you process all these things and you reflect just like i'm doing now in this video and you say to yourself you know andrew did i give it my best there's not a question i went above and beyond the call of duty in every capacity in every capacity there is zero doubt in my mind so i'm sure you're the same way no matter where you are on the planet or maybe you're in an airplane or on a boat maybe you're on a uh, spacex shuttle going to the moon or whatever these people do these days but wherever you are i know you gave your all so hold your head high and understand a few things before we end the video one this was not your fault two you gave it your all i know you did and evidence of that was when that was all the pain and hurt and discomfort you felt when the relationship ended if you didn't give it your all you wouldn't feel that way if you actually just tried halfway or you know okay i'll, I'll try and see how it works you would not have felt all those emotions. You would not have grieved as much as you did. You would not have ruminated and thought what happened and all those things. It wouldn't have happened because you're an empath. You, you gave and that's what we do. So that's number two. Number three is understand that the person you are with is nothing but a predator. All they want to do is seek out, get supply, control, manipulate, destroy, move on, rinse, wash, repeat. That's what they're doing. So for you guys that are watching the video and right now you're, you recently were discarded or you can't quite get over the hump, I know it's, <coughs> excuse me, I know it's difficult to comprehend some of these things because you're, you're in the stage where you are, I get that. But the point is, you're a beautiful human being. You have so much to offer and there is light at the end of the tunnel. And all the things you gave, everything, physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, mental, intellectual, everything you gave, it was not for nothing. It got you to this point, I know it's difficult, but it got you to this point, and it's to make you a better person down the road. So please understand, did you give it your all? Yes, I know you did, and I did too. And not, nothing can change my, my mind on that. I know what I did, I know exactly what I did. And the minute I stood up for myself and said, no, this isn't working, that's the end of the relationship. And that probably may have happened to you, uh, like I said, drop comments below. This video is a little bit long. I just wanted to get it across that guys, for anybody that was ever in a narcissistic relationship or maybe is in one right now, I know you gave it your all. If you're out of one, reflect and, and pat yourself in the back and say, wow, that's incredible, I made it. I made it through the fire. If you're in one, I would highly suggest, strongly suggest you look in the mirror and say to yourself, do you deserve better? Is this what you want? Is this happiness to you? and reflect and think. So guys, I hope you liked the video. I love doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew, it's an evening video. Sun's about to go down and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, share this video with anybody that could use it. I love you all. You're not alone. God bless you.